Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Daniel Herrera. And I'm Sheldon Stevens. Welcome back to Bobcat TV. Today we have a new volunteer opportunity for you. As well as a new figure for Black History Month. Stay tuned for these stories and more. Bobcat, Bobcat TV, TV starts, starts now. The Byron Nelson Environmental Club will be painting a mural in the new courtyard. If you're interested, they will be meeting on Friday from 4 to 6, and you will be able to get service hours from the event. Freshmen, the Culinary Academy is allowing you to apply for your sophomore year. Here's an interview I did with Chef Hooker with more information. Hello, Bobcats. I'm Daniel Herrera, and today I'm here with... Chef Hooker. So recently this year, uniquely, so freshmen are able to apply um, mm -hmm. to be in the Culinary Academy of the freshman, or the sophomore year. Absolutely. So I think some questions going around are like, what are the deadlines for this process? Um, we need applications in by the end of February, so February 26th. Okay, and when can like they start applying for this? The students can start applying right away. So as soon as you're making your schedule for next class school year, you can go talk to your counselor, and they'll get you in touch with me, and I can make sure you get the application. Okay, great, and that kind of answers my second question, which is like, if they are interested in this, where do they kind of start to begin this process? Yeah, they can start with their counselor. The counselors are awesome, and they can help anybody get in touch with me so we can get you started. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. I yes. I really do. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You guys. Bayard Rustin is an important figure for black history that is often overlooked. Here's Chris with more information. Bayard Rustin was an American leader in social movements for civil rights, nonviolence, and gay rights. Early in his life, he had been arrested for engaging in homosexual activities, which impacted his politics. While MLK is usually credited for his marches, the one who actually did the organization and planning for these marches was Rustin. MLK was the leader for these marches, as he did not believe it would be accepted from a gay black man himself. He also participated in boycotts and protests, such as the New York City School Boycott, in which they protested segregation in public schooling. Overall, Rustin was a very important figure to black history who tends to go unnoticed. Next week is Red Ribbon Week, and Tuesday's dress up day will be PJ Day. Just a reminder that we will have next Monday off in order to celebrate President's Day. Byron Nelson will be implementing a new ally program for teachers. Here is Dr. Myers with more information. Okay, hello Bobcats. I'm Daniel Herrera, and today I'm here with Dr. Myers. So Byron Nelson is obviously a very diverse place, and so you want to take the time to me talk about teachers allies or a teacher ally. So I think one of the first questions is what are or what is a teacher ally? Well, Daniel, first of all, we know that all teachers are allies. So they wouldn't be in this job unless they had a, a, a care for students and learning. And so we're very grateful for all of our teachers who show up every day at Byron Nelson High School to be an ally for students. Now, we do have a, a, a special or a different group of, of teachers that have uh, volunteered some time outside of the classroom to learn more about what does it mean to create a safe space for students who may be struggling with certain kinds of topics that are unique to them. Uh, and these are called our teacher allies. And so um, we, they will have a sticker on their door that looks like this. And so if you are walking down the hallway as a student and you see a teacher's door that has this particular sticker on it, that means that that particular teacher has volunteered their time to learn more about what does it mean to be able to have a conversation with a student with regards to um, special issues that are or topics that are unique to them, uh, whether it's dealing with race or gender issues or things such as that. Uh, these particular classrooms are classrooms in which that the students should feel, okay, here's someone that's, that's okay with me talking about this, this particular uh, topic. So, uh, a staff ally is someone who agree, just agrees to create that, that safe space and to be empathetic and to validate and to uh, make sure that we are 
learning more about what we can do to reduce microaggressions. Okay, that sounds great. So how can students utilize this and like why is this important? I think it's extremely important because we want to make sure that we serve all of our students. And while we are, you know, as, as you said earlier, Daniel, uh, we do have, it's important to, to celebrate the diversity that we have at our campus. And it's also important to make sure that we create safe spaces for students and teachers to have conversations with one another that uh, acknowledge who they are and also to uh, make them feel better about coming to school. And then also it helps us to uh, identify what are some things that we need to work on here at Byron Nelson High School to make sure that we are serving all of our students. Okay. And aren't all teachers allies, like you said? Absolutely. All of our teachers are allies. Um, and they, all of our teachers have particular gifts and they're, they're comfortable at talking with students on a range of issues. Uh, this particular teacher ally group um, is just that they have, they've given up some time before school and after school to really focus on this topic. So uh, certainly you can talk to any of your teachers about anything for the most part. Uh, certainly we want to make sure that uh, those relationships are, are professional and, and we know that our teachers will do that and our students will as well. But uh, a teacher who has this particular sticker on their door means that they are willing to um, meet a little bit more after school and talk about some some things that they could how they can how we at Byron Nelson can do a better job at serving all of our students. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I'm glad to see this rolled out. All right. Thanks, Daniel. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this edition of Bobcat TV. See you next time. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Bobcat. Bobcat.